Hello, so today I am treating my pond. The, all the fish have got quite a bit of uh, trichodemas going on. So, I'm going to treat it. The, um, as you can see on this fish, he's got a little bit of a red mark coming up where trichodemas have got in on him. And I've had him out on the day and he's covered in them. So, I've got four hours spare, so I'm going to treat him to him, steaming up here. There we go. So I've got 9,000 gallon pond. So I've got it's some potassium for manganese, and I've got 61. 61.3, 61.2. I'm going to go for that much. I did say 61.2, so I'm going to put it in this water. Purple that up a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to pop an air stone in it like that and let it mix it in. Just leave that air stone in there for 10 minutes and then you can gas off a bit and mix air in. Uh, I prefer to do it like that, it seems to seems to be when you do it like that you seem to have less issues with it because um, you do sometimes when you treat with PP you do have a lot of issues uh, obviously it's best to always have some hydrogen peroxide you can get that stuff uh, hydrogen peroxide or I've got a big barrel in it to put in but as you can see I've got a rod there and there's tench in this pond and sturgeons in bottom and some people tell you not to treat with sturgeon in pond and that is a good idea do not treat with PP with sturgeon in pond unless you have a hell of a lot of airflow you can get away with it if you have a hell of a lot of airflow like I've got two bottom drains and I've got nexus um, Nexus all air going in Nexus and I'm going to take that off of there so water's just falling in and uh, I'll time it in exactly four hours time I'll put one litre of hydrogen peroxide in and it'll take all potassium permanganate out of water and uh, then the staging will be alright then after that they get on alright so I'll let that Settle for 10 minutes and then I'll uh, put it in the water. Here we are, that's the time I'm about to put it in. The, uh, I've taken that pipe off there so I've got as much air as I can flowing in for now. I've got a couple of extra air pumps, spare stones, which I'm going to drop in. And uh, you can see the, you know what's going to happen, they're all going around in circles. Because every time I take that off, I'm always treating it. <laughs> So I've got this bucket, just in case you're tipping it in there. All good fair plus stuff. Now well, well PP, potassium to magnet, purple like that as well it's working. When it goes brown it's all not doing anything. So you've got to keep it as brown. You've got to keep it purple for as long as you possibly can. And uh, obviously you can easily see that it's purple when you're looking at bubbles. So it's it's sometimes an idea if you've got like a mucky pond, it's an idea to put extra potassium in just a little bit, just to keep it purple for at least two hours and uh, it should not be purple for any longer than four hours at all, uh, that would be not good for your fish because uh, you've got to remember that this is, it is bleach and um, it takes all oxygen out of water and it will start to have a negative effect on, effect on your fish after a while um, you can leave it in and just let it clear on its own but as soon as it's gone brown it's not doing anything but staying in your water brown so after four hours I always put in 
hydrogen peroxide or that hydrogen peroxide and um, it's always best if you're treating PP I'd always recommend having some hydrogen peroxide never treat PP if you don't have hydrogen peroxide because if you have any problems which it does happen this happened to me once I did treat um, I did treat with potassium a bit ago and um, I did everything I could, like now. And some of it, it went wrong, whether it, whether it happened, but it almost killed some of my older koi and my sturgeon. Obviously, it's sturgeon affected. But I come and has a look at water, and some of the older koi were just floating on top. And uh, luckily, that were only after two hours as well. Luckily, I had hydrogen peroxide to hand, just chucked it in. And we in 10 minutes are all fine, as if no had happened. And uh, um, some people prefer to take the filters out of the sy system so that filters aren't getting full of PP. But you know, it doesn't really matter to me. Like, it's running around the filter system, and uh, I prefer to make sure that I've got rid of as much sugar in as I can. These fish haven't got PP in there. They're on a totally separate system. It's my quarantine tank. We have 53 little koi in it. The uh, greedy little koi. But I've been messing them out, so they're a bit shy. Uh, I've upset them. There we go. <laughs> so there we go, I'll come back in four hours when I'm ready to put uh, hydrogen peroxide in to neutralize PP and uh, I'm going to be stopping in here all the time because this is the time when I can expect fish to jump out or something to go wrong. As I said before last time, after only two hours and it, it almost killed three of my older koi and my sturgeon. So it's best to really closely watch it when you're treating. And uh, I'm going to be watching Simpsons. <laughs> For a bit. There you go, I'll come back to you when I'm ready to take it out. So here we are, four hours later. It's been really successful. I think there's no floating fish. And as you can see, it's gone quite brown in colour. And uh, when it's brown in colour, it's not really doing anything. So it's just, uh, it's just a case of taking it out of water. So now I've got my uh, hydrogen peroxide. I'll just fill this little tub up with a litre. Because it's one litre hydrogen peroxide treats this pond. There we go. I'll show you. Right, this water's brown, look. I'll put it in there. And it goes clear. Just like that. That's what basically what happens to your pan over this space of five minutes. Um, basically what's happening is hydrogen peroxide reacts with potassium permanganate and neutralizes it. Um, so if you overdose on potassium permanganate you put in hydrogen peroxide to get rid of it. And it also works the other way around. If you overdose on hydrogen peroxide you put in potassium permanganate to get rid of it. So it's the uh, right thing. If if now I put in, once this has gone clear, which it will do in about 10 minutes, uh, if I put in more potassium to manganate to do a second treatment, within three days, three or four days perhaps, it won't do anything. It will still have this hydrogen peroxide in, and it will just react with that straight away. So it will take about a week to get rid of that hydrogen peroxide. 
before you can do another treatment and I will be doing another treatment in a week's time um, because I find that it's best to do it that way even if you get a fish out and don't find that many trichodemas on it for me it's always been if I don't do a second or even a third treatment uh, with week, week, four day to weekly intervals I always end up getting it again in a mass outbreak so that's how it goes uh, at the uh, about one and a half hour mark it started to turn brown like it is now so I put in an extra 10% of uh, potassium permanganate so I put in an extra 6 grams in this pond and that kept it red till about two and a half hour mark kept it purple till I say two and a half hour mark and then it went brown again to where it is now so as you can see it's it's really quite brown and messy in that. Awful colour, really. <laughs> but uh, there it goes. There you go. And I'll uh, we'll show you the time. It's done. And I'll show you it. When it, as soon as it goes clean, I'll show you another video. You can see it's starting to see. Here we go now. It's 15 minutes later. So, and it's cleared up a bit. It's not totally gone yet, I don't think. It's not as clear as it should be. There's sturgeon mat. A little bit, um, oof, that's a polite way of saying it. Annoyed. A little bit annoyed. But, uh, that's how it is, isn't it? That's how it goes. I know um, a lot of people have said don't treat PP with sturgeon in, but I mean, what? What is uh, my alternative, really? Um, I can't have uh, uh, trichodema in water, it will uh, not do me quite any good, as you can see. Um, I had a few issues with uh, fish in there, that's got quite a scar on his side. There we go, we get in there. Get in there. There we go. Uh, it's clearing up nicely now. So, there you go, that's one treatment for uh, trichodema, potassium permanganate. Um, it went really well, really happy with it. Uh, if you do have sturgeon or rud or goldfish in your pond, other things but except koi, make sure you have as much air flowing in as you absolutely possibly can, especially with sturgeon. If you've got koi, still as much air as you possibly can, but you know they're not as affected as sturgeon. Um, sturgeon do need a hell of a lot of air, and like I said before, I have um, had trouble with potassium permanganate. It doesn't always go exactly the same every time. Um, I did almost kill the sturgeon once. Anyway, I, we were, I were holding him at this wind for about half an hour before he finally had enough strength to swim on his own and uh, I didn't do anything different to what I've done today so it's just taking it's just having precautions, keeping an eye on your pond making sure that nothing goes wrong and always have hydrogen peroxide so if anything does go wrong you can just dump it in and it's gone within 10 or 15 minutes like 15 minutes later, it's completely out of water, cut it back to normal. If I fed them now, I'm sure they'd be quite happy with a bit of food. And uh, that's it. If you've got a different way of treating for PP, let me know. Comment, I'd like to know. It's always good to learn new things. Uh, I'm not... Uh, I obviously learn it as I go along. And uh, just thought I'd make this video, see if it helped other people. And thank you for watching. And if you want to see any other uh, videos of me building this fish house, check out my YouTube channel. See you later.